Hello, welcome again. In this tutorial, I will take a closer look at XQuery in Oracle Database. I will show you how you can use it on simple example with XML table. As you can see, I use customer tutorial table. Now, let's see what are the columns of this table. This, this table stores information about customers and we are especially interested in column C orders XML of club type. In this column we store all the information about customer orders. Let's see how it looks like. Now you see the structure of this field. We have main tag orders and in this tag we have all the orders of the customer and each order contains elements of this order called line items. So now let's go back to the query And I will explain it to you how you can combine SQL with XQuery syntax. So, I use XML table for creating a table from this club value. And this, in this customer tutorial table, as I mentioned, we have this field C orders XML which we pass to the XML table syntax. Also, we need to convert it to XML type. And we do it in this line. But then we have our XQuery syntax, where we look for all the orders in this tag, this root tag, as you can see, we are looking for these elements, and this variable is single order. And then we do the next loop, and in this single order, we are looking for line items, the elements of this order. And then there are a few conditions. For example, we look for elements of this order which are between 1995 and 1996. And we, if we find them, we retain the result. I gave the name of the tag result for our result of the query. And in this result, I create three tags, which are ship date, supplier key, and the volume, where I do some calculations. What is important brackets. You need to remember to do all the operation in brackets. And, now, and if we have this result, we can extract the particular values from this result and create here our table. The syntax is the first is the name of the new column. Then we declare type of this column and the path. And the path 
is contains to this result. So you can see that I look for L ship date, which is here, L supplier key, which is just here, and the volume, which is the last tag in the result. And then I just show the result using select query. So let's take the last look on the structure orders where we have all the orders for the particular customer and each order has own items connected to the orders. Okay, let's see what will be the result. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me change the dates. Nineteen two and ninety eight. Okay, let's do it this way. And again, yes, and we have our result. For the customer six four five nine seven, we have one, two, three items, and the one for the second customer. which is correct. OK. And that's all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.